Hi, this is Jeff Lesher with What's the Point Part 1 for this week. It's a continuation of our customer service investigation. What is customer service? Is it really delivering on the promise or is it delivering something more, even if the promise is not delivered on? Well, Jay Kirshner and the good folks at Molecule have given me the opportunity to speak directly to that that point, that dichotomy, and the answer is, if you can't deliver on the primary process, then you're kind of out of luck with respect to providing a high level of customer service. This guy right here is the molecule. You can probably hear the hum of it in the background. I purchased it about two years ago when I moved into this new place uh, and was getting a dog and wanted to make sure that the air was kept clean. So here's the good news. This thing actually works very well, and it would work even better if I knew when to change the filters on a regular basis, and that would be better for the company too, because not only would I not be sharing this little bit of insight with you about their customer service shortcomings, but they would be able to sell me more filters, and I would be a much more active advocate on behalf of their product. The problem is that this product also depends heavily on synchronizing with a phone app and with one's Wi-Fi so that the filter condition can be monitored and I and the company can receive alerts to know when I need to change the filters and when they need to sell me more filters. So the fact that the device works but doesn't connect is hugely problematic. In addition to that, the instructions that their customer service people are given are such that they assume that everything works. And so they tell you that you'll receive a notice when the filter needs to be changed, but if it doesn't connect to the internet, that process doesn't work. So their guidance is actually incorrect because their device is not working properly, which they know about because for the better part of two years, they've been working on a firmware update and they recently breathlessly announced that they had finally, after almost a year, rolled out the new firmware, and guess what? It doesn't work. And when I spent a half an hour, another half an hour, on the phone with them trying to figure out how to make it work, if it would work, and it turns out it doesn't work and they can't make it work, so I get to have another call with another person to very likely conclude the same thing. The guy at the end of the conversation, very nice guy, says to me, so what else can I help you with? And I said, seriously, unless the thing was actually on fire, what other circumstance could there be? The item doesn't work. It doesn't work as advertised. It doesn't allow me to take advantage of not only cleaning the air, but knowing when to clean the filters so that the air stays as clean as possible, which is the whole point of a very expensive air filtration system. The fundamental promise is not being met. Therefore, customer service essentially blows and blows dustily because we don't know if the filters are in the proper condition. So to the great folks at Molecule, figure out how to deliver on the core promise. Otherwise, anything else you do or ask me and anyone else who has this product is nonsensical. In fact, it's irritating as all get out because we don't care about how nice you are or what else you might provide us when what we paid for doesn't work the way it's advertised. Which is more important, delivering on the core promise or the nicety? Delivering on the core promise, that is the point.